and Ramla. Ladies, you both know the rules. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves now, come out fighting at the bow. As you can see, even though Mathy is fighting in a weight class up, she's tall, she's big for the weight class even, even here, 22. And she says she doesn't really gain too much power, doesn't gain too much muscle by adding the four pounds or so. And she meets Ooh. Ali with a right hand and then a counter by Ali. They both landed big shots there, but Ali's landed on the chin. Matthew in the brown fight kit. Ali in the black, purple, and gold. You can see the increased power in the punches of Ali. Yeah, absolutely. She's got quick hands to begin with, but now she's just set down on her punches. I don't think that she lacked power per se, but she never had her feet underneath her. Now she's set in her stance. Good balance. Comes in with a left hook, follows it with a right hand. Matthew with a strong right hand to the body. And she landed two of those this round, the straight right hand to the body. Good shot, there's another one. Ali packing the two punch combinations. Matthew meeting her with an overhand right. Oh, down to the body with a left hand. Nice shot. Another right hand and a counter from Ramla Ali. Ramla Ali in search of perhaps her third early stoppage in her last four fights. Nice body work there from Matthew. The jab lands from Ali. Matthew counters with some body work. Another right hand to the body for Avril Matthew. I'm noticing an improved left hook from Ramla Ali. Not really a punch that we've seen much of in her past fights, but been coming off pretty decent here. Punching with Avril Matthew moments ago, both exchanging body shots. Oh, exchange right hands there. I was waiting for the ref to give some uh, warnings about the rough hack tactic, rough house tactics on the inside from Ali. She's pushing on the head, using her forearm. We have some markups on the left side of Ramla Ali's face Ooh. here in the round, fourth round. Yes, from that right hand that Matthew keeps getting her head offline and landing. This is developing into a nice battle here on Before the Bell. And then right at the gate in the rest of the fifth round, the combos coming steadily from Ramla Ali. Matthew's trying to cut off the ring there. Catches a left hook. The swelling on Matthew's forehead starting to increase once again, what we saw from the first round. Good right hand from Matthew upstairs and then down low. Ramla trying to dig to the body. Solid head movement from Ali, getting out of the way. And Matthew continuing to come forward. Yeah, the output of Ali is really starting to take a dip. Not throwing as many punches. She's, I think she's working very hard to push uh, uh, Matthew off of her. Not punching as much as she was. Right hand connects from Ali. Matthew punching with her. Another overhand right attempt by Ramla Ali. See the swelling on the left side of Ali's face. Matthew marked up as well. Credit to both fighters. Most of the action, the exchanges have been done. Center ring. One two combo from Ali. Matthew trying to answer back. Yeah, Ali's had a better round. Good exchange here. In the last 30 seconds of round number six. Be interesting to see what the judges are seeing ringside in this. The angles that we're watching versus what they have been seeing. 
Ooh. Good shot there from Ali on the inside. And the windup connected. Stab jab for Matthew. Yeah, Ramla looked like she had a couple rounds in there where her, her output was coming down. She's looking very uncomfortable, but these last two rounds, she's had a bit of a resurgence in her technique. And here she goes, pumping the body with left and rights. Matthew lowered, was met with a left hand. Looks like Ali's getting a little bit of her bounce back, like her amateur style, that in and out, going back to her roots. Good footwork getting out of the way, off the line in the path with Matthew. Ali looking strong here. Matthew's Tripling up the jab. Matthew's one of those people who is year-round fit. She doesn't just train for fights. She's always in shape. So I don't think fitness is going to be in question here. There are a lot of fighters, I'm sure, that loathe the nutritional process of getting ready for a fight. Avril saying earlier this week, that's something that she embraces, she relishes, she has genuine interest in. Yeah, she lives life. I mean, she's 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 a fitness fanatic. She loves training and, and, and eating properly, so I don't think that's, a, that's a, a big struggle for her at all. Former gym owner before she moved to the U.S. back in Australia. From how this fight started in the opening round, the way that Matthew got marked up, you, you thought that she was going to be in for it. But here she is showing a lot of heart, a lot of ability as we are already past the midway point of round nine. Yeah, I think that she's shown a, a vast improvement in what you said, ability. You know, her boxing technique, she boxed well in the middle rounds and, and at the middle distance. You know, it's it's been a good fight. I don't know where the ref was on that call right there, but a lot of funky maneuvers. Ali hasn't received a stern wording from Charlie Fitch all night. She might as well say, let's see what I can get here. <laughs> Definitely pushing the envelope in that, that, that situation. Regardless of how this shakes out, even if oh, big right hand connects. Matthew. Big right hand against Ali. Ramla Ali answering back with a right of her own. That might have been the most flush punch of the night from Avril Matthew. Yeah, another good right hand there. Again, she is jumping up in weight class here and in class of competition but when Avril Matthew goes back down to 118 she could take a lot from this performance this could be a closely scored fight but one of the questions I'd be anxious to ask afterward whether it is to Matthew herself or to her corner why they haven't really petitioned or protested too much to Charlie Fitch with those holds yeah I mean there's definitely an argument for that but also just if there's something going on that if you don't like in a quarter, it's better off to, to mention it. Bring bring it to the attention of the of the rep. Put it on their mind. Put it in the mind of the judges as well. Ooh, One right two hand. combo from Ali, punctuating it with the right hand. It's been there for much of this fight in terms of the impact that Ramla Ali's punches have been making. The improved power on display, the accuracy there as well, the tenacity from Matthew coming back. Quality fight for both warriors here. Avril Matthew and Ramla Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. All three judges, Tom Carasone, Max DeLuca, and Kevin Morgan scored this bout identically, 99 to 91, for your winner by unanimous decision, and the new IBF Intercontinental Junior Featherweight Champion, Ramla!